Hey everybody, Joe Burnich, BigWestMarketing.com, back again to give you some more helpful information when it comes to ranking your service business or your contractor business website to the top of Google. So what we're going to talk about today is the importance of pictures. And this is some new information that we have been kind of uh, wondering how important it is, but today we actually had some confirmation two different ways. Number one, from the number one way that we get our information is from testing, testing, testing. Number two is we actually had several Google representatives give us little hints that this is uh, a very important ranking factor, but not just a ranking factor, also a factor in getting people out of uh, Google penalties or getting them reinstated if Google's got issues with you. So let's talk pictures for Google rankings. Okay, so here's a quote that um, uh, Wendy, who's working on the uh, the day-to-day -day SEO stuff with many of our clients, she actually got this quote directly from a um, one of the Google customer service representatives from the Google My Business team. Um, and so there's different ways you can contact Google. You can do it through um, Google like forums. You can, they actually have a phone number you can call. The only problem is when you call somebody on the phone number, you usually get somebody from, that is overseas that really has absolutely no power or a lot of times any understanding of what it is your business is even about or how to answer your questions. It's very limited in the support. The best support that we've found so far when it comes to Google uh, Maps listings or Google My Business is through Twitter. We talk to Google through Twitter all the time. And I'm not a Twitter person, neither is anybody else in this, of in this office, but when it comes to communicating with uh, local American English speaking um, people at Google that can actually make decisions and make things happen, um, we found right now at least Twitter is our best bet. So that's what we're doing. So here's a re here is a quote from somebody over at Twitter and it basically says Google wants their users to have a good experience and pictures that communicate with the business offers are more likely to get clicks. So they're making little hints like that telling us that uh, that more and more of these guys, since, I, since we talk to them every day, more and more of them are giving us little hints that pictures are more important than ever. In the past, they've never talked about pictures being that important. You can throw a bunch of stock pics up there, and that's nice and cool. It's good to have some pictures in there, um, but they weren't really uh, worried about the types of pictures that were being uploaded. They just wanted some pictures. In the past, it's always been like, put pictures in and you're good to go. You got that covered. Check that off the, the list. Now they are getting very picky on what kinds of pictures they want. So let's talk about the kinds of pictures that we have seen help rankings and help people uh, get in Google's good graces if they've been suspended or, um, or they have their pages marked at spam, as spam, something like that. So the first thing we need to talk about is, is there's many different signals that tell Google you're a legitimate business that should be high in the rankings. This is not the end all to ranking in Google. Uh, a lot of times I do a video on something specific and people get it stuck in their head that that is SEO and as soon as I do this, everything's gonna be happy and fine and the phone's gonna ring off the hook. This is one of many signals, but this is one of the strong signals that we're currently seeing with Google My Business rankings. And this is specifically for the service business and contractor industries. This is not for doctors, restaurants, retail establishments, stuff like that. They have their own set of signals that are strong. I'm talking specifically the people that we work with, service businesses and contractors. So let's get into exactly three things that Google likes to see when it comes to posting pictures on their Google My Business page or their Google Maps listing, whatever you want to call it. And we'll look at examples here shortly. But before we get into that, let's talk about it. Number one, they want to see pictures of work being done. So if you're a carpet cleaner, we need to see pictures of carpet cleaning work being done, not just smiling babies and puppies, not stock pictures of smiling babies and puppies and happy families laying on carpet. No, we want to see actual physical work being done 
in the case of carpet cleaning, a wand, a person with a wand cleaning carpet, tile cleaning, a person with a tile cleaning tool cleaning tile. If you're doing roofing, you want to see pictures of actual roofs being tore off, roofs being put on. If you're doing um, concrete work, they want to see concrete being poured. If you're doing painting, they want to see paint brushes going up and down the, in the walls, exterior or interior. Those are just examples. Lawn care, a lawnmower cutting grass. Not a stock picture, but an actual lawnmower cutting grass. So that's number one, work being done. That's the first thing you want to have as far as your pictures on your Google page. Okay. Number two, if you can have actual people, whether it's you, the owner, or an employee or technician doing that work, then that's even better. Okay, so in, in having a mix of some just work pictures, not just a perfect completed picture, but the work in process being done by an actual human being uh, is great. Now, if you can have that human being with, a, with the logo of your business on their shirt, that's even better. Uh, and so, so basically what's happening is Google's actually having humans review this stuff. It's not just all um, the algorithm and, and whatnot that is, that is checking this stuff out. It says actual humans, Google employees, thousands of them scouring business listings and giving basically extra points to those that are doing what I'm telling you right now. So work pictures with people in them. Those people have hats, shirts with logos showing that it's actual, it's actual work being done by this actual company, okay? Now, the third thing that's very important is um, whenever you take, and I've talked about this in a previous vid video, it's called geotagging. Whenever you have your smartphone out there and you take a picture on a job site or you take a picture of your van at your location where you're listed with Google, Google can actually pinpoint the latitude and longitude and, the, and see exactly where that picture was taken. So what I recommend you do is you get your smartphone out, okay, we all have smartphones, you go and you start taking pictures of employees doing work, you take pictures of your van with all your lettering, your phone number, your logos, all that stuff on there, your truck, whatever, you take pictures of all that stuff, but you do it in a location. So if you do it, you know, 50 miles down the road in a different city, then that's not as good. You want it done at your physical location, whether it's a work site or the place where you have your address. If you work out of your house, have it done in your, in your driveway or on the street so Google can zero in and see. It's just, it's just another signal to tell Google that you're the real deal. Okay, so you want to do that. You want to, those are the three things. You want to have work being done in process. You want to have people, actual real people doing that work. And you want to have those people lettered up with your logos and uniforms or whatever. Uh, and then you want to take pictures uh, of places in your city, specifically in your close to your address or wherever you're physically located or registered with Google. If you have multiple addresses for different commercial locations, have different pictures in different locations with your van, your lettering, all that good stuff. Your equipment, if your equipment has your lettering and your stuff on it, take pictures of your equipment, okay? All that kind of good stuff. Like I said, Google wants their users to have a good experience and pictures that communicate what that business offers are more likely to get kick clicks. What they don't tell you is it's more likely to get rankings as well. We went through and we looked at all of our clients and saw the ones that had these types of pictures in there. Those ones are typically, not always, but typically ranking higher than the ones that do not. So if you are our client, then you, we are going to tell you that we need these kinds of pictures. And a lot of clients will say, hey, Joe, what can I do to help get, move this along, stuff like that? This is it right here, okay? So um, that being said, let's look at some examples. Let's jump over here to Google. I pulled up this guy. So when you click on your, uh, on your, uh, your see photos here on your Google listing, um, you're going to see uh, basically all of the photos that are uploaded to your page. Now, some of these are really good. That's another thing. If you have a, a commercial location, if you can have the, uh, the logo and the phone number and everything on the door, awesome. Signage is huge as well. I forgot to mention that. Also on his truck right there, and I'm assuming he took this with his uh, cell phone and it pinpointed the location. Uh, we got work in progress here. No people in these, in these ones, but that's okay. Over here, we have one with his actual crew. Look at these people here standing with their logos on their shirts, logos on the trucks. 
This is probably a physical location that is um, where, they're, where they're located or close by, at least in the same city. Here's another one. Look at this truck. This is awesome here. Yeah, see? That's the kind of stuff you want, guys. Oh, here's another one. A person doing work with the logo on the back of the t-shirt. So um, this is the kind of stuff that actually got uh, this uh, particular um, company out of the Google sandbox. They had some issues with Google and we're trying to get reinstated in Google in good standing. And these pictures are what solved the problem for this specific client. Here's another one. Um, let's look at uh, the pictures here, more photos. Uh, we got before and after pictures. We got, uh, obviously this is not a stock pick. This is a pick of work being done. This is a, obviously a picture of work being done by a technician. Another one here. Let's click through them here. There we go. There we go. Awesome pictures. That's obviously a real picture, probably taken with a cell phone, which gives it that location, that geotag. Same with this one. This is definitely from a cell phone. We can even see the, the cell phone stuff on there. Another one. So I think you guys get the idea. There's another service they do, air duct cleaning. So they're going to throw that in there. Awesome. So all this little stuff like that, making real pictures in the location that they're being taken uh, with work and with people is going to help you either get out of the Google sandbox and get in Google's good graces, or it's going to help you rank higher than your competitors that are not doing this stuff. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's look at some other examples I've got here. Hold on. I just found some cool pictures that I thought would be fun to show. We got this guy here. It's a painting company with this crew right there. All the, and the lettering's all done right there. They got logos on the shirts. Good to go. Concrete, uh, concrete peop, uh, company actually pouring concrete with the names of their uh, company on the shirts here. Awesome picture. Another one, somebody doing some uh, some cabinet work. Phone number, logo on the actual shirt of the person doing the work. Drywall, another one, a technician actually doing some drywall. A picture of the van at the location with the phone number really obvious and the logo obvious. I think you guys get the ideas. I just wanted to show you uh, multiple examples so there isn't any confusion um, on what exactly I'm talking about. So. Once again, I hope that was helpful. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put your pictures out on there. If we're doing SEO for you, let's get them sent over to us and get, in, and get going on this. We're going to talk to you about this stuff anyway. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with BigWestMarketing.com.